For the first time in what seems like forever, St. Mary's and Brophy will do battle here at Bull Gymnasium right here on We Are SM Hoops YouTube Live. Number five, Brophy. Number seven, St. Mary's. Alongside Chris Ferrandorf, I'm Alex Clore. Glad you can join us as the Knights take the tip, Chris. It's got to feel so good for especially someone like yourself who knows so much about the rivalry between these two schools to see them back on this floor for the first time in almost a decade. Yeah, nine years to be exact. And... This has been a rivalry that has not taken place recently at the home gyms. They've been playing in the Chaparral um, National Tournament for a while, I believe three seasons up until now. Styles Phipps tries the three from the left wing. It's no good, rebound by the Broncos. They have the basketball for the first time today. They're starting five, Braden Speed, Luke Weiskamp, Luke Rell, Nick Sanford, and Ryan Burbach. On the right wing here with Speed. He's guarded by Style Sips. Get it to the corner for a three. It's Rell, and it's good. A 3 nothing start for Brophy, a minute in. That's something that can happen for this St. Mary's Knights team is leaving a Brophy shooter wide open. This is a Bronco team that is surrounded with guys who can shoot from the perimeter. Styles gets the entry pass from Kenny White, gets fouled. St. Mary's, uh, last time we saw you, they were struggling a little bit out of the gate, but had two successful winter break tournaments. They won one of those. They went two and two in a very uh, tightly contested tournament over at Torrey, Torrey Pines as the entry pass goes to John Ferrendorf, but I believe we're going to have an offensive foul on A.J. Mondumba. First foul on St. Mary's, each team with one. Well, that's something to watch in a game where St. Mary's does not have Caspian Jones or Anthony Maciel, two key contributors contributors for this team. Their transfers are still ineligible as well. Right down low on the post, a block that time by Cameron Williams. He's gonna push up the floor. It's Kenny White, right hand layup. It's a bit strong, tip back, no good. Fight for that loose ball, goes to the Broncos. Knight still off the scoreboard so far. Speed, he'll slow it down and he'll reset the offense. Goes one-on-one -on, -one on Styles. Not a good idea. Out of bounds. Knights ball. Styles, a really underrated defender. He's pointing at the ref and AJ Mondumba. Let's get this game going. He wants to speed it up. Profi usually a team that uh, likes to play a much slower pace. St. Mary's the opposite. Styles pulls up and hits. First bucket of the game. A minute and 47 seconds in, and it's 3-2. Styles had been hot in the Damian Classic and Torrey Pines tournament. Multiple games over 30, including a 43-point effort. Cameron Williams, another block and a grab. They're going to call a foul on Cam Williams. He was reaching for the ball in a fight with Luke Rowell. Cam but Williams, two blocks. He had three consecutive games, Alex, in the Damian Classic with eight-plus blocks. So he's really solidified himself as a defensive presence for the Knights. Well, Chris, uh, if anything tells you how important that uh, this rivalry is, of course, there's some extra reasons why these two guys are here but uh, Donovan McNabb the former quarterback is in attendance as is Valley legend Larry Fitzgerald as there's an offensive foul the Broncos turn it over but some big names here at the, here in the crowd to watch these two teams play and the St. Mary's bleacher creatures really came out in full force here in the second half Brophy will of course be shooting underneath for over on that basket We'll see if that plays a factor late in this game. Styles, a little pirouette, left hand finish, gets it to go. That's the strength and body control that he provides, and the Knights had their first lead. Big horn screen up top, speed with the dish. Onto the post, another block by Cam. He's shown off his length so far, that might be his third. Now Kenny back to Styles. He's guarded by Rell. Now on the left wing. That's Kenny White. He's a left-handed finish, and he gets it to go. Six unanswers for St. Mary's. This Bronco team might be slowing the pace down a little bit too much for their own liking. On the left wing now. Broncos in their all-black uniforms. Knights in the whiteout, the home whites. Weiskamp back on that left corner. It's Burbach. He drives on Ferrandorf, pulls up baseline and gets it to go. A solid move there. And it's a one-point game again. 
Styles quickly the other way. Almost fouled a mid-range from Williams. He's shown that all season long, his ability to hit for mid-range. And the Knights back up by three. Broncos quickly the other way, and we're tied. Sanford hits a three, the senior 6-1 guard. He's really been key for a couple of these Broncos teams throughout the years, Sanford. Styles gets doubled up top. He gets it to Kenny White. Wide open three. It's Ferrandorf, and he splashes it home. Gets the start here tonight and makes a big impact early. Well, when he hits his first three, that's a good sign for the Knights as well. His first three he made versus Desert Mountain resulted in three straight more. Guards Rell straight away. He's going to drive with the right hand after the ball screen. Lays it up and in. Teams trading buckets here early. Over halfway through quarter number one. Styles asks for the screen from Ferrandorf. They hug it out up top. Back to Ferrandorf for three straight away. A little bit off the mark. And the first substitutions of the game. Both of them Brophy Broncos. It's Rocket Schwertley into the game. As is Dalen Sharper. And Hale Hansen, a sophomore. I believe three sophomores check in all at the same time for Brophy. Yeah, Rocket Schwerly, the 6'5", you know, sort of hybrid big man. He likes to pop out and hit the three. It's going to be an interesting matchup to see him versus Cameron Williams down low. Sharper looks on the back cut, finds Hansen back out to Schwerly. Pump fake, he's going to drive. Finds Hansen on the post. Pirouettes and gets it to go. And the Broncos have their first lead since it was 3-2. Williams, one step mid-range, that just can't fall. And Speed wrestles that rebound away. Sharper back to Speed on the post, and a finish. Styles did not want to get a foul called on him there, just gets out of the way, and a three-point deficit, largest lead for Brophy to tie their three-nothing lead. Styles, he's backing him down, finds Kenny White, he's in the right corner, three, it's short. Knights starting to live with some of the outside shooting. They're gonna have their first to, two and over three cents. Well, they're going to have to knock those down if Brophy's going to sit in a 2-3 zone of some sorts. Those corner shots and those wing threes are going to be open. Sharper into the lane, and he walks. <laughs> Coach Lopez is going to go to his bench for the first time. A couple of freshmen check in, Colby Barnes and Noah Andua, two guys that have made great impacts here in the first half of the season. Something to watch, though. This is a really small lineup for St. Mary's. Noah Undua and Kenny White, both probably around 5'9", 5'10". Styles Phipps and Colby Barnes, not that much bigger. Oh, look at the move into the lane. Touches all iron and gets it to fall. He's had a tremendous start offensively. He's really started to heat up. Ever since that first tournament up in California, he was the MVP of that. The Knights won the tournament and averaged... Uh, Close to 40 points a game out there as Andua gets the steal. Round two, if they hurry, it'll just be Andua. A little out of control, so no foul call. Sharper, a five on three. He's into the lane, swatted by Styles. Rebound Andua, Knights can push. Up to Williams, back to Styles. He'll lay it in with the right hand, and St. Mary's back in front. This St. Mary's team really runs by Styles, Phipps, and man, has he put the team in his back in this first quarter. 15-14, it's been back and forth. Trying to drive baseline, an offensive foul. Burbach will get called for it. Styles will draw it. Shuts down the angle perfectly and was rewarded with a turnover forced. That's Nick Sanford subbing back in for Braden Speed. Brophy's top player, he's got a couple Division I recruits, Portland and a couple of UC schools. No, it's just 60 or so seconds, but this is where St. Mary's can take advantage of the end of this first quarter. Kenny White on the left wing. Doubles it straight away. Styles is going to try a three. It's off to the left. Rebound is fought for, and uh, the battle's won by Brophy, but he walks. So the chaos again. Brophy likes to have a slow pace, not too much frantic movement, and St. Mary's, some of that athleticism is taking over. St. Mary's came in, entered uh, this game, number seven in the AZ Preps top 10. Brophy at number five. Andua 
Tries to find Williams, he's bumped off the ball, but somehow collects, misses, gets his own miss, and puts it back. That's just pure one, and it's a three-point game. And his length is just so much, oh man, Noah Andua is gonna pick up a foul all the way in the backcourt there for the Knights, but just going back to Cam Williams really quick, he's big time in a game like this because of his length. Brophy does not really have a true center on this entire roster with Cam Williams 6'9", frame 6'11"-ish wingspan, he's gonna have to take advantage of it. And even more so with, uh, as you mentioned, Caspian Jones and Anthony Maciel not available tonight. Speed back in, shot clock turned off. He's in for one final possession of this first quarter. It's a three-point game in favor of St. Mary's. It's been back and forth. Brophy has led by three a couple of times, but the Knights back up in front by that same number. Five seconds to shoot, speed, little floater in the lane. It's too strong, and another rebound by Williams. And that's gonna be it for the quarter. Styles Heave will go off the mark, wouldn't have counted anyway. St. Mary's though, the lead by three after that quarter, and it's really, uh, Styles Phipps made Styles Phipps plays, but I think Cameron Williams was the X factor in that first quarter, as you just said. Yeah, he has to have a big time game for St. Mary's to come out of here with a victory. You know, just talking with Alex and a couple of guys, before this game, I, I noted that St. Mary's had to start off hot in order to get a victory tonight.